Hello everyone, my name is Sala and you're watching Smart Code. So our this week JavaScript project is Image Slider. It's a simple slider with the next and the previous button and can be programmed easily with the help of only JavaScript. I hope in advance that you are going to like this project. And if you like it, please do subscribe to the channel, Smart Code, and leave the comments. So we are going to set up some HTML, then we will put some CSS, and finally we will write JavaScript. Are you ready? So let's get into it. In my code editor, I have created three different files, one for HTML, one for CSS, and one for JavaScript. And in addition to these three code files, I have some resources. I have a folder named img, and inside that folder, I have all the images which I'm going to use in this project. Images have different names, but the same format. And they also have one more thing in common, that is the size. They have a size of 600 pixels into 400 pixels. Let me show you some of them. Right, so you see, they have the same size. And I would recommend you do the same. Use any program you like to fix the size of the images before you put them on the web. You can, however, use CSS to reduce the size, but it will put extra overhead to the browser. Right, so if you have large images, then you are going to avoid massive resizing in the browser. Otherwise, your application may load slowly in the browser. Because before displaying the image, your browser has an extra job to do, that is resizing. So avoid resizing in the browser for better performance. Now in my HTML file, you can see I have already linked the CSS and the JavaScript file. So let's now set up the HTML for this application. Take a div and call it application container. The first element in the div is the image element. So let's call it with a class and an ID. And to the source attribute, we are going to put our first image. Right, so our first image a.jpg is the startup image. Whenever the application is loaded, you will see that image, right? And so now we are going to program previous and next button and the paragraph for showing the image number. We are going to put everything inside the div buttons. First button is the previous button. And under the previous button, we need a paragraph. And here we would say image one of five right so at the start of we have already put our first image and that's why we need to notify the user we have five images and you're watching the first one and so now after this paragraph element we just need next button that's it we have our html for this application and so you see the result in the browser right Let's now write the CSS and style this application. So in the CSS, our first selector, as usual, will be the universal selector. In here, I will reset default padding and margin, and we set box sizing to bar box. Let's now target the body element and give it a background color. And so now I will target the application container and give it a width of 600 pixels. Right, so the application container, all the images have the same width and we don't need to put hard-coded height. It's not a good option. And so now I will put some margin. Let's say top and bottom margin is equal to 25 pixels. And for left and right margin, I will use auto. Auto margin to the left or to the right, we put our container to the center of the page. And you can see our application is center aligned. Let's now style the navigation buttons. Target the container, make the item of the container flex items, apply space between to the justify content, and then align items to the center. Right, so this lower part of the application is rightly aligned. Let's now style both the buttons. Target both the buttons at the same time and apply some style properties.
and now I will apply the hover effects. So now we have applied the hover effects and here you see it's working and in the last I've increased the font size of this counter. So let's try get the paragraph and increase the font size. 2em and font weight bold. Alright, so here we have our application interface. Let's now move to the final round and write some JavaScript. In JavaScript, we will first get ready all the resources which we are going to need in the program. For example, we need all the images in the script and images are the resources. So I will program an array of images. So let's code it and get all the images in the JavaScript. The name of the array is images and the component are the images that we have. Right, so now we have all the images available in the program. And you better know an array is a collection based on index values. And index values starts always from the zero. The index to our first image is zero. And in order to read that image, we will first write the name of the array and then specify the index of the image. And index to the last element is four. That is the length of the array minus one, right? And so now we need some more resources. We actually need some variables. Our first variable is the index of the first image. Second variable is the index of the last image. And we need one more variable for keeping track of the current image. Let's call it current image. Right, so the value in our current image variable is zero and zero is the index value to the first image, right? And so now we have all the resources. It's now time to program the next and the previous button and the logic. Let's start with the next button and get it in the JavaScript. Now assign the next button a click event using the add event listen method and call a function to execute the JavaScript. Right, so we are going to code the logic in this function. Now here we first need access to the image element. So let's get the image tag of the element and make it available to the function. And the ID of the image tag is image, right? So now we have the image tag available to the function and it's now time to use the current image variable and whenever the click is performed the value in this variable going to be increased by one right so the initial value in our current image variable is zero and after this statement the value becomes one right and as the value changes in this variable we will immediately get an image from the array based on the value of the current image variable and assign it to the image tag right so let's now see the whole picture at the startup the value is zero and when you perform a click or first click to the next button the value in our current image variable is increased by one and as it increased by one we use it as index and get the image so if the value is one the second image is displayed on the screen and when you make another click the value is increased by one again and it becomes two so the index two is now assigned to the array and that means image at index two is displayed on the screen 
right now one very important thing here that need to be controlled is you can't allow this current image variable to go endlessly because index 4 is the last valid index and if the value in our current image variable exceeds 4 our application goes down it will definitely crash so we simply need a control statement right here so as we increase the value and before we access the image and assign it to the image element we are going to code an if statement and we will say if the value in the current image variable is greater than or equal to the last image then set it back again to the four which is our last valid index right so now our life is good as the value becomes four or tries to exceed four it is set back to the four so it's a very simple logic for controlling the index and our application will stuck to the last image now my last thing is to update the image stats on the screen i mean this paragraph that we have in our application so we'll get the paragraph in the javascript it has an id in 4 now access our inner html and update the image number right so we have five images and in the background we know index goes from 0 and that's why we need a plus one to show the right number so our next button is completely programmed let's now run the application and check it out and our application is not working let's check the cancel for errors and we have errors and it says assignment to constant variables and here we made a mistake our current image variable is declared as constant and it shouldn't be a constant because we need to change its value in the program so let's modify its type we will simply change the constant to let now there is no error in our application save it and run it again make a refresh and click on the next button and here you see right so let's now program the previous button and it won't take time now because we have code for it so get the button and listen for the click events Now all we need to do is just copy this entire code and paste it inside the previous button. And now we will make reverse modification. So instead of increment, we will code decrement. And the index control is also the opposite. We would say if the current image is smaller than or equal to the first image, then set it back to zero for the first image. That's it. So now we have full functional image slider. Let's now check our application one last time in the browser. It's working. Right, so it's working perfectly fine. So that's for the simple project on JavaScript. And I hope you like that one. I will see you in some other tutorials and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.